let's start at one extreme, maybe, if we started. Um, take the example of Chateau Neuf du Pape. So it's outside of the Languedoc, but it's basically just the other side of the Rhone River, um, where we're looking at probably for the best sites, a million, a million plus per hectare. Uh, we'll cross the Rhone River now, and we'll go into the Languedoc, so starting with Costiavi Nîmes, and then through the, uh, the Côte du Languedoc area, which can range from maybe 30, 40,000 euros a hectare um, to 10 to 15, depending on the site, depending on the, on the appellation, the desirability of that area. We'll keep on walking down through the Languedoc uh, until we get to the Corbière, where the range of price where we are starts at four, 5,000 a hectare and goes up to between 10 and 15 on very rare occasions. Um, so in the, space of, in the space of three hours, I'm driving more than walking, in the space of three hours we've gone from a million to 5,000, which is considerable. Yeah. What is the most expensive land in the Languedoc? Uh, I believe it is at saint jean de Minervois, um, which is used for the uh, Musca, the saint jean de Minervois, which is around about 50,000. Um, quite simply because it's very, uh, a very small area. It's not an area that's likely, as far as I understand it, um, to be increased in size. Um, and so it's not, uh, plots don't come on the market very often. I think you'd have to re remove so much vineyard area, notably from our end, because you certainly wouldn't do it from the other end, there'd be no reason to do that, um, to create a situation where the price is increased by any meaningful um, amount. I mean, it, it, it might double in value, so to, uh, so instead of being 5,000 a hectare, it'd be 10,000 a hectare, but you're still looking at 10,000 vis-a-vis a million, um, which are two completely separate worlds. Um, mm. But that's not all bad. It allows people like me to set up, so, and others. The, the flip side, whether it's in Chateauneuf or, or wherever, um, unless you inherit or you have some serious backing, there's not a lot of new blood coming in. Um, so father to son or, or some kind of succession or you're backed by LVMH or something like that. But beyond that, no, forget about it. <laughs>